All right, Avengers fans, welcome back to Assemble. My name is High Ruler, and today we have the War Table Weekly Blog number 11. Holy moly. All right, so I'm not sure what we got going on today. I've actually been waiting for my PS5 all day, um, which actually never came. Um, so I've not actually read any of this. I don't know anything that's coming. So let's kind of dive deep into this together, and let's see what kind of things we should be expecting for this next generation first week right so let's see if there's any little hints and any little surprises uh on the store for us so happy thursday marvel fans welcome to our marvel avengers war table weekly blog where we'll give you the scoop on news patch notes marketplace updates and more how is it already mid-november 2020 has been paradoxically the shortest and longer longest year in, mis in memory oh my god we hope everyone is staying safe and healthy as we head into the holiday season in the meantime, we're still hard at work on improving Marvel's Avengers from home. Take a look at this week's modifiers and marketplace updates. If you didn't have the time on the 10th, go check out the patch notes now to see what we've improved. And as always, we hope you have a good time catching up with Marvel's Avengers. Weekly updates, priority missions. Priority missions have modifiers that will challenge even the toughest superhero. Your first weekly completion of these missions earns unique gear you won't find anywhere else. Iconic mission, along came a spider. Minimum power level 25 with a plus 3 power level offset. Modifiers resurgent, clash, capacitor, the guaranteed reward is epic gear. Enter the Avengers. Minimum power level 120 with a plus 5 power level offset. The modifiers are Goliath, Scourge, a Maelstrom, and Oasis. The guaranteed reward is Polychroon and hero specific gear. Priority Harm Challenges. Priority Harm Room Challenges have additional modifiers and reward comics that increase your collection and boost your stats. The weekly first completion reward is Black Widow 2014, number 13. I think I actually have this comic. I think I do. This is like this is a very familiar um, cover to me, so I actually think I own this somewhere. Very cool, very cool. A minimal power level 15 challenge. The modifiers are Snowball and Maelstrom. Minimal power level level 100 challenge with a plus five power level offset the modifiers are pressure torpedo and collider okay all right so the mega hive the mega hives modifiers include resurgence torpedo heavyweight and turmoil remember guys two exotics for the hero that you complete the eighth stage of the mega hive with so make sure you guys go get your two exotics this week um as always we skipped pro tips Marketplace update. There are several new items in the marketplace this week featuring Black Widow and Iron Man wares, including Widow's legendary infiltrator outfit and Iron Man's epic air guitar emote. All right, so let's open this up. What do we got? Okay, okay. Um, all right, let's zoom in. Let's see. So, I mean, this is kind of like a recolor, you know? But it's not a bad recolor. I mean, I've seen worse. We've all seen worse, right? So it's not bad. It's a little... On the, like the the bluish gray kind of you know feel it's not the worst but you know definitely you know not the best oh no what is this dude what is this this is literally the worst <laughs> Okay. All right. Aside from the fact that they took, like, there's no sunglasses for this skin still, you know. Was, I say still, but was there plans on adding the sunglasses? I forget. It was in the patch notes. I totally, my brain just, um, but I think this skin would look a lot better with the sunglasses. I think they took them away from the menu. So if you own the skin in the menu, it doesn't show the sunglasses anymore, which I would think that the sunglasses aren't coming with it. So it's like literally almost like a one to one, right? Oh no. Okay. All right. Next, uh, more of, like the classic costume, obviously with the um, the gauntlets there. Not bad. I mean, like both these costumes aren't necessarily bad. It's just like they're so similar that on the same week, like oh god. Oh, okay. Anyways, um, another recolor here. It's kind of the one of the uglier recolors, I would think. This doesn't really jump out to me like the uh, blue and the silver does. The blue and the gold just don't really jump out to me. Okay. Um, this is actually an okay Black Widow one right here. The red, the black, the gray. This is actually really good. I actually really enjoy this. Okay. That's not bad. That's not bad, actually. 
Uh, but of course, the prices have gone back up to their normal price. So, I mean, you know, if this was half off, this would definitely be probably like a buy at 900 credits. Am I going to spend 900 credits on this? Probably not. Um, but I still think this is a really dope looking skin. And then the last Iron Man skin is not bad. You know, this isn't a bad skin either. But for 900 credits, am I going to buy this? Not necessarily. But I don't think this is a bad skin, right? I like the rougher looking, you know, Iron Man look. It's a little bulkier. Um, you know, has the oversized like arc reactor. It looks like a knight almost. Like I like this kind of style. But for 900 credits, it's probably not something I'm going to spend 900 credits on. But I do like it. I do like it. I do like these ones. Um, same with the Virgin Media, the Verizon ones, um, the Intel ones, I believe, use this model. Those are all really cool skins just because the model is really good. But once again, that price tag kind of kills it, you know? So let's scroll down now. Uncommon nameplates. Got some nameplates. We got some emotes. We got the Air Guitar emote. And then we got the rare outfit. What is the difference between this outfit that is 700? And then like this, and then like, say for example, this one, the red and the black one, which is 900, right? Like, how do they, how do they justify the prices? You know, like how much work goes into this one that it's 200 credits more than this one, you know, I, I would, I'd be interested to hear that, that explanation, but I mean, I digress. I digress. Not a, not a bad week, but oh my God, do these two skins just kill it? You know, like. <sighs> what a week to have that man what a week all right because i mean like when i say what a week i mean like there's no new content right the, the, obviously the new content would be at the top of the the blog post so i can assume there's no new content coming um which means yikes 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 yikes, yikes. all right patch notes uh so as you guys know patch version 1.3.5 came out um i I uh, did a video about that. If you guys are interested, I'll link it down below or you can find it on the channel. Um, all in all, for the people who missed the patch notes video, it's it's not a sexy patch. Once again, no, no new content, but it was a bug fixing patch. And, uh, you know, it definitely seems like they're ramping their bug fixing up. So it looks like in the next few weeks, they'll have like the majority of their major bugs probably squashed and fixed or whatever. So that by the time they get ready for the new content, the new content should come out relatively smooth. But we're also kind of running out of time. We're we're running out of time here for new content. We have two weeks left in November. I mean, unless unless I see Clony Labs, oh no, I don't know. I don't know, guys. To be honest with you, when we should be expecting new content, I would have thought Clony Labs would be this week, if not next. Um, yeah, I don't know. It seems like now. Correct me if I'm wrong. But with this week kind of being off for them, right? Holiday, like holiday, Thanksgiving, all that. Um, they, it seems like they would probably have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I don't know how holidays work in, in the States because uh, I'm Canadian. Um, so I don't know if they would have four days or three days or five days, depending on, you know, I guess like people taking holidays and stuff like that. But I can't imagine them releasing anything major this week simply because, you know, there might not be anybody around to fix it, you know? So I would almost imagine that it would have to be next week. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see. All right. In case you missed it, social announcements. Check out the article announcements you may have missed. Marvel's Avengers behind the performance Nolan North slash Iron Man. The weekly stream recap. Last week, Warzone's director Phil Tarion and community and social man manager Andy Wong once again played with the community over on Twitch. The link is there. Community Spotlight. PlayStation Community Challenge. Team up with the global player base to meet mega goals and unlock rewards. Goal? Defeat 500 million enemies with range attacks. What skin is this? Hold the front door, people. What is this? Where is this? I want this skin. Why can't I have this skin? I've been playing a lot of Black Widow lately, and I feel like this is the skin I should be having. Uh, excuse me, Crystal Dynamics. Um, this skin in the shop, please replace it with um, like literally any of these other skins. Get them out and put this skin, and I will give you money today. Okay, this is a great skin. I like this skin. This is really cool. 
you know it's got the the tan kind of holster it's got the um the night vision goggles looking like i'm i'm sam fisher i really like that skin oh my god where is that have i missed that guys if i've missed that let me know i don't think i've missed that yet but i want it i want it all right community spotlight thankfully you won't be needing night goggles to check out this week's community spotlight featuring some awesome shots showcasing a night theme okay so let's take a look at this one a little hulk thunderclap action okay not bad not bad all right uh we got a little like scary hulk here okay all right everyone likes the skin for scary hulk all right well not wetting myself over here that's for sure uh what do we got we got a thor a little lightning going on looking up at the moon there okay not bad not bad oh spooky okay oh, this is a little spooky 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 all right not bad not bad and then we got a cat facing off against a nice little robot there as we've all done for almost uh just over two months now but it does look a little spooky there so appreciate it nice pictures guys appreciate all that it's really well done and that would be the end of the blog guys so once again no new kate news no new cloning lab news um i'm predicting either next week or december like i said if it's not next week it's got to be december just because of the holidays in the last week in november there so once again guys i'm sorry that there's nothing new for you guys and uh you know obviously we're all kind of still in this waiting game kind of thing um hopefully you guys are keeping keeping busy with some other things miles or godfall or watchdogs or assassin's creed or call of duty tomorrow um, like I've been telling you guys, take a break, come back when the game has content. Um, you know, it, it shouldn't be too long now anyways, but, you know, make sure you guys enjoy some of those other games come out. You know, Miles looks to be really good, for example. Um, and I'll be here week after week after week after week to give you guys the updates on what's coming, when it's coming, and so on and so forth. Uh, just a heads up, tomorrow I'll be talking with Joe Abarro. Oh, if I'm really butchering this name, I will make sure if I'm butchering his name, I will have it correct for tomorrow. OK, um, he is a writer at Murphy's Multiverse as well as he's on the MCU Exchange podcast and we'll be talking Avengers tomorrow. Um, once again, I'm going to be in my PS5 waiting game kind of stage. So I'll hopefully have that out either late tomorrow night, if not Saturday. Uh, so keep an eye on the channel for that. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Stay safe. Take take easy. Take care of each other. And I will see you guys next time. All right. So thank you once again for all the love and support. And I'll see you guys next time on the channel. All right. Peace.